If you are ever tempted for a moment to doubt your worth, remember this. The only innocent one who ever lived is marked forever because he thought you, he thought you were worth it. The same man who wrote that beautiful hymn you might remember, Rock of Ages, in the 18th century, wrote this. My name from the palms of his hands, eternity will not erase. Impressed on his heart, it remains in marks of indelible grace. I don't know how you feel as you think about that, but Easter week is the most glorious week in all of the calendar year. Good Friday is the, the darkest night this earth has ever known. You know, when the, the very ground shook and some of the tombs opened. But do you remember reading that the curtain in the temple, which it's not like the drapes that you and I probably have in our house. The drapes, that curtain in the temple was the width of a man's hand. And you might remember this detail, that it was ripped from top to bottom. Not from the bottom up as if some men could have done it, but from the top to the bottom, because only God himself could have ripped that curtain and said, there is no more barrier between God and man because of the shed blood of Christ. You and I get to come into the very presence of God. I wonder if you might be ready to come to a place of taking a fresh look at your own life through the cross and through the resurrection. We were, when my husband and I were selling a home and we were trying to put a value on it. I remember saying to the, the realtor, how do you decide what to price a house at? And she said, well, it's, you price it at whatever people are willing to pay for it. That's the value that Christ places on your life his own life. That's how much he thought that you were worth.